At first glance, the Hensons are what most of us would call a typical family. Jamila is a mother of two, their daughter of six, Nevea, and their talkative two-year-old, Nehemiah. <laughs> Yet their father has a secret identity. Daddy, if, if the bad guys really come, we don't really have the Avengers, so who's going to fight to protect us? And so I looked down at her and I said, well, me. You're an Avenger? I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> Did you see the clothes? It's my uniform. The hero has to inspire something in you. And the greatest trait of a leader or a hero is to make copies, make duplicates of themselves. Being in the Air Force is really an enabler to, to pursue other dreams, such as comic art that I have, because uh, as long as I you know, do what I'm asked and I'm not substandard, I get to be a part of real heroes and then at the same time draw heroes and be welcome in both worlds. Meanwhile, stationed in Germany, Eric said goodbye to his family and flew back to the U.S. to attend a comic book convention promoting his current work as an artist. A lot of times growing up, I just kind of hid behind the fact that, hey, I like Batman. Because <laughs> it was embarrassing. But here, there's no embarrassment to it. People like Batman, and they like wilder things in Batman that I've never heard of. And this is where I found my tribe. With the Air Force as his safety net, Eric has never experienced the struggles of a starving artist. Kinda during a deployment where it kind of hit me that I need to go ahead and pursue it full time. I didn't have like the huge history of trying for 10 years. And for that, I'm very grateful that I get an opportunity to be a part of this world with such a, a minimal time investment. But I, I don't want to take away from the fact of how hard I tried. Pulled between his Air Force career and following his dreams, Eric sacrifices daily to battle his greatest supervillain of all time, the deadline. I mean, if anything, it really it goes to his work ethic, where he's like, I've got a job to do, I'm going to get it done. And thanks to his military training. Eric seems very disciplined. He, he knows what he has to get done, and he gets it done. I know a lot of artists who, myself included, you know, we work on a different kind of schedule, where we give Eric a story or a script, and we expect art in about three weeks, and he's done in two. What's really cool about the cons is that you get some really off-the-wall requests for it, like comics, and characters you've never even heard of. And then you get the real, um, you know, the real common ones like Captain America, Spider-Man. I spent probably two years just like honing a portfolio and trying to learn what it would take to get a good critique and to get noticed. With his family patiently waiting overseas, he sets off on his next adventure to save the day. Behind the exterior of this mild-mannered husband and father beats the heart of a superhero. Reporting from Baltimore, Maryland, I'm Staff Sergeant Chris Piles.